Hi everyone, today I want to show you a simple procedure for right sizing your Kubernetes cluster, which can help you significantly reduce your Kubernetes uh, costs. First, let's talk about Kubernetes scheduling. So, each Kubernetes node has CPU and memory resources. Um, some of it is reserved for Kubernetes, and the rest is called allocatable and can be used by Kubernetes pods. Um, each pod has CPU and memory requests, and when Kubernetes needs to schedule it, it will search for a node with enough uh, resources for this uh, pod. Next, in order to right size my cluster, I first need to check my uh, resource utilization. I'm going to use Robusta for that, and I'm going to go to the nodes view. Um, in simple words, utilization is how much of my resources is actually being used. So if, for example, I have a node with two CPUs and only one is being used, um, I will have 50% uh, CPU utilization. Here I can see utilization on the cluster level, and I can see that the ProDU cluster has um, low uh, utilization, both on uh, CPU and memory. Um, let's try to understand uh, why. I'm going to go into one of the cluster nodes. Um, here on the left, I have a CPU graph. The top one is um, total CPU usage on the node, and the lower one is a breakdown of uh, CP CPU usage uh, by pods running on the node. And then on the right side, I have the same for memory. Um, here I can see how much of the node CPUs uh, was allocated. So I see uh, the allocation works well. 85% of the node's CPU was allocated to, to pods. Um, so how can it be? How can it be that I can see here that only about half a CPU um, is being used out of the almost uh, two CPUs available. So what it means is that 75% of the CPUs I'm paying for are not being used at all. Um, let's try to understand uh, why. So I'm going to look at uh, one of the pods. Um, the payment processor pod, it is requesting 330 milli CPUs and 1100 megabyte of memory. Um, and on the usage, I see that it is using far less. It's using only 550 megabytes of uh, memory and about 170 uh, milli CPUs. Um, and this is the, the actual problem. So the pod uh, requested uh, much more resources than it's actually using and Kubernetes is reserving those resources, uh, which causing uh, low utilization. Um, so in order to fix it, I need to go to the payment processor deployment and update the uh, CPU and memory request to be closer to the uh, actual usage. Um, here on this cluster, I have uh, five nodes, um, and I already did those updates on my second cluster, the Prod US. Um, and the Prod US um, is running the exact same uh, workload. Um, here you can see I updated the resource request. And by doing that, I was able to um, squeeze the same amount of workloads on a three nodes cluster. I was able to get rid of two of the cluster uh, nodes. So what I actually did by, by lowering the resource request, I helped Kubernetes um, squeeze more pods into every node, and then by that I was able to get rid of some of the cluster nodes. Now, if you need to do this, uh, this procedure at scale, it might be a little tedious, and for this we have uh, an open source tool called KRR, um, which is doing exactly that. It's looking on each of the cluster's workloads, and then comparing the, uh, what is configured for request versus the uh, actual usage, and then give you recommendations for uh, what you need to configure. So if I'm looking at the same payment processor, I can see that KRR recommended to reduce the memory request from 1100 to uh, 640 megabytes, and the CPU from 
330 milli to 170. Um, and there is also a cool feature that you can see uh, why the recommendation was made. So you can see that all those deployment codes are um, using on average uh, 170 milli. And this is why um, the recommendation was given. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. I hope you find it useful.